in the last video we have learned about the view keyword in salty we have seen couple of examples that where we can use how we can use in this video we're going to learn about the pure keyword in salty that why we should use pure keyword and in what way we can utilize it okay so here i have opened my dimix id make sure to do that to be on my footstep okay so i'll come here i'll give this comment pure and i will take a contract pure and i'm going to define a couple of variables so i'll say unt num 4 unt num 2 10 okay so these are the two state variable we have now let's create a function i'll say function get data public pure and return and define the data types and i want to simply return the num1 num2 which i have defined as a state variable and it will throw an error you can see i'm getting this error that i cannot use this this function to access the data of the state variable so to access the data i have to use this pure view keyword okay so this pure keyword will not work for me so you can see i'm getting this error and if i remove this if i type this view everything's fine because view will allow to access the both the state variable and local variable but pure is only restricted to the local variable not access to state variable so that looks pretty good now if we deploy the contract here you can see we got in the data okay if we type pure we are still getting an error so you can access that okay let's take a variable i'll say num1 30 num2 50 and i want to perform certain calculations so let's simply have an output and this will work absolutely fine okay we have taken two variables and we are simply returning from this function okay and this time we are not calling any state variable but we are using the simple function okay so let's provide this comma and now things are looking good if we deploy the contract and everything's fine we can easily able to access the data data because this time the data we have defined and try to have an output those are the local variable not state variable okay so that's the thing you have to keep in mind okay now we can come down we can take another product variable num plus and we have to perform certain calculations okay you can do anything as long as you are using as a view and using a local variables so and this time here you can see we try to access the state variable and again we have used pure but we can't do that if you want to access we can use view keyword and now everything's fine okay we can use the state variable to perform certain calculation and get an output from the local variables okay that's what you can do if you type head enter get the data you can see we are getting the data things are looking pretty good if you provide this product and if you provide this total we'll get the output here okay let's redeploy the contract and boom here you can see we got the data calculated data 500 and 120 so that's the entire logic you have to know about the p keyword if i use the pure i can't able to access it will throw an error it will throw an error okay you can see we can't able to access that so the only thing you have to keep in mind that you can use pure when you not accessing any state variable but when you accessing state variable and both local variable in such scenario you can use view keyword okay so that's the only thing i want to cover about this pure keyword in salty and i believe that you guys have got the complete understanding that how to use where to use and what are the things operation you can perform using this pure keyword okay so let's move to the next video